Hello guys, welcome to another video and in this video I am going to show you the review of the S8 ROM for the J7 2016 which is none other than the Enigma version 6 from J7 2015 to the J7 2016 so without wasting more time let's start with the review So I would like to tell you that I have been using this for 3 to 4 days and it's really smooth and I am using this as my daily driver no issues only one thing uh, I just wanted to tell you guys that it doesn't have the screen mode otherwise it has all those things those we note for the daily driver also some more things are added like the private mode so to go to the lock screen and security and you can check the private mode okay it takes some time so let's enable it and there are some issues with the private mode I don't know why but it's not working properly it just uh, like uh, it is uh, in private mode so I have set the password as you can see okay I think one two three four so okay I have set the password now we'll go to the my file section and here's how to use this so here we got a private folder so SD card so okay I will move something which is not important so uh, here are some of the files so I will move this uh, EFS backup and move to private mode so okay I have moved this to the private mode and also you can see the private mode uh, on the notification uh, status bar you can see the private mode icon okay so this EFS backup is gone in the private mode now I just want to recover it so move and it's not moving out of the private mode so how to remove it I don't know so please uh, do not move your important files in the private mode uh, before it gets a clear clear uh, thing that it is working really uh, and I don't know how to use it because I don't have any device with private mode so uh, I am not like correctly in uh, the this issue like it may work I think I am using it in the wrong way that's why so but it may work and other things are really awesome let me show you the uh, normal device maintenance how much MB RAM I get really happy the battery life is really cool and it's really awesome only thing is that I have not got the screen mode so it's okay if you're watching movies on uh, more at cinema mode then it may might get your issue 911 MB I am getting really good more than the stock like I was using stock for two days and after that I switched to Enigma uh, with this uh, S8 ROM and it's really cool it's really awesome you can use this as your daily driver no issues are there all apps are working and also VLT is there so there are no issues really all other things are same you can get the edge features to here you can see edge features all the edge features only the blur menu but it's totally nice uh, I don't know why I don't like the I only like the, with the blur, blur menu but it's still working good also we don't have this uh, okay content scaling you can see here 280 dpi this is the enigma thing so it will change wait again do it to here and it will change okay sorry 320 okay so it has changed and now it is using the enigma dpi changer now 280 and it has changed so this is how the dpi works also there are uh, various uh, other things uh, that you don't need explanation that I said wallpapers and all other uh, things are here we can also get the J7 2017 which are the J7 Pro wallpaper so that will be a good thing so now we will move to the installation the anti to benchmark score for this we will get in the description below so goodbye and uh, really thanks for watching this review now we will move to the installation so the review has ended here and now we are moving to the installation so those who want to waste some more time on installation just uh, follow this procedure so power off your device and yeah installation is very easy you have uh, watched very previous videos and all of us know how to install so reboot into recovery by pressing these three buttons this is the combination for booting into recovery everyone knows this now because it's getting old okay so we have a backup option so please I don't want to tell you that you just need to have an android backup so yeah do an android backup and now don't clear an android wipe just clear these things data and gauge so no need to wipe the internal storage and micro SD card 
and let's get back and install just go to the internal storage and I have the Enigma asset UX and the edge features so there is no uh, okay so it is uh, there is uh, the Aroma installer for the J7 2016 but there was nothing like an Aroma installer for J7 2015 so I think the developer has added for it so let this uh, procedure finish so the procedure is finished click next and if you want edge features just click this uh, uncheck this reboot device and now your device will reboot and you just need to set up uh, it will take time to boot and then you need to just set up it and then it's over you can use the enigma version 6 okay gladly telling you should use the enigma version 6 there is no issues so if you really like this video press the like button if not press the dislike button and also the feedback will be in the comment section and if you want to watch more videos related to j7 2016 and also the no card update is coming really well so i'll make sure a video all about the changes on all those and today benchmark everything so please subscribe and goodbye now bye Okay, let this boot. I just need to make more videos. Bye.